Hello everybody, Sift here again and today I will be doing a sponsored video on Super Nano Blaster. Now the game is an arcade shoot em up or bullet hell, whatever you want to call it. You know, we're going to be trying to destroy the opponents and they try to do the same thing to us at the same time. And we are trying to chase down a good high score, I guess. That is the gameplay itself. Now, uh, this uh, video has been sponsored by Catapult GG, or at least through it. And the developer is 3.5 inch team and the publisher is Anka Games. So thanks for the opportunity. And uh, let's just get into this. Now here in the beginning there might be a bit flashes here and there. I will just keep them for a moment, but then I will reduce, you know, the visual. I just want to showcase, you know, how pretty the game is if you, you know, don't have an issue with the flashes and stuff. But otherwise, you know, I will after that remove them so that people can see the game easily. We're gonna go normal here, we're gonna go in story mode. Uh, let's begin from the start because as far as I know there are like six stages. So if, if I'm good enough, although I'm not sure how good I am or not, we might beat the whole game today. But uh, I mean, at least story mode. And uh, yeah, let's get to it. I already have unlocked like a second uh, little uh, fly machine, I guess. But let's go with the first one. Let's go with a simple one. Now, this game is launched today. It should launch today. It should already be launched. Actually, you know, I should upload this after I, um, you know, the, ga the game is out. And um, you can uh, go ahead and play it. I mean, as simple as that. You can go ahead and buy it. I will have a link in the description for that. You know, if you want to just go instantly to Steam, it is going to be a Steam link. And uh, yeah, I think that is pretty much for the explanation. Now, as you see, there are some things happening. We're gonna just doing like this thing. Now you might see, see what is this? That is the main gimmick or mechanic of this game. There are two parallel, uh, I guess, universes. I mean, not that the game says, like there is no lore game that says something like that. But we're gonna just add our own lore here. And if you if there is lore and you wanna you know learn it, you can you know get the game and look at it. Now, as I said, we have like two parallel universes. We got the the. I guess the light one and the shadow one, although there is nothing to indicate in which one of the two you are, right? And we can flip-flop between these. That is like the main thing of this game. As you see here, everything that is grayed out. Right now, for example, I'm trying to blink and it doesn't allow me to. But otherwise, uh, anything that is darkened out means that there is something on the other side. Like even XP, even points are on the other side. And uh, here right now, the tutorial is trying to teach us the overload mechanic. I also might as well show it. As you see here, we can just blast through opponents with our crazy machine gun. And um, yeah, I mean, blinking around. Oh, it just tells me to use the overload mechanic. Well, guess what? I just used it. Maybe we can get another one by destroying too many opponents. Yes, we can. And let's blast through them now and get our high score going. Why not? And um, yeah, I mean, I think that should be it for this stage. Or is there like a boss or something? And now opponents will start attacking. As you see here, you see those little pluses? Those little pluses... Um, uh, what pluses? What no? You, you, uh, what I'm trying to say is the pluses, first of all, are points, but that doesn't matter. What I want to say is that as you see, opponents here can shoot at the background, but we do not get hit. I will get hit if I flip flop to the other side. So we will, we can pretty much just flip flop to get, get damage immune. It's it's as simple as that. Uh, although I'm gonna spoil a bit ahead, that is not always true. The game uses its own mechanics against you sometimes, so you will see it a bit later. But for now, that's what I wanted to mention. And at this point, you know, I think the time has come for me to reduce the flashes. When we blink, as you see, there is like a distortion happening and what else. I'm going to just remove all that just to be a bit more easy on the eye, you know, for anybody that might have an issue with it. Now the blink, I think, became a bit more simplistic. I'm not sure if that's better or not because I don't really have an issue with that. But uh, I'm, I'm trying to like, uh, you know, make the experience as you know, clean as possible for people that might have issues with it. But I don't think it's really that. I'm not gonna, you know, continue talking about that. Just continue um, shooting here. Uh, in general, the plan is you just destroy opponents, you gain points. It's a, it's a high score game. It's a high score game. You try to get as many points as possible. As you see, there are also some things that are in both sides. Like, you cannot avoid some walls. They, they are in both sides, but uh, th that's pretty rare. Most of the time, most of the things are either on the one side or the other. But here, example, right now, for example, this wall is on both sides, so you cannot go through it. And here we got like a tidbit of the game using mechanics based on itself. As you see, most of the area is, you know, dark, but uh, I have to go to that specific light part of the map so that I will be able, you know, to avoid uh, the, I mean, I guess just traverse the stage, not even avoid anything. Now, congratulations, you're now ready. Nice, we just did the tutorial, so I'm super happy. Now, I want to mention that we pretty much have only two life. As you see around us, we have like a shield. That shield is one of our two lives. The moment you lose the shield, 
you also uh, pretty much uh, lose one of your two lives and then after you lose after you get hit one more time you're pretty much toast and here we got the first flip-flop boss opponent i guess let's go with uh, a machine gun here not that we are in any rush whatsoever uh, in general the only thing you have to like keep in mind in this game is whenever you see anything that is not grayed out it can hit you and whenever you see something that is grayed out or you know darkened it uh, cannot really hit you and uh, also you should be careful where you go as you see here for example i'm really abusing the fact that i can just flip flop whenever so i can just go through the bullets now i haven't gone like on the fifth or sixth or whatever stage where maybe later it's gonna be madness but right for example we can easily use this to you know flip flop around and let's go let's go we got our time bonus and uh, we're saving here and off we go i'm gonna use uh, let's let's use the second ship on the second stage why not uh yeah, let's go ahead and use the second ship on the second stage. And then from there on out, we will be just pressing continue, continue, continue. Although, honestly speaking, I didn't really like the second sh ship. Uh, that's like definitely a personal preference. But uh, as far as I know, in the stages themselves, you can change like ships mid-stage. So I'm going to also showcase that if, if it happens, that it happens here. And this is the second ship that you unlock. You unlock it on the stage that I'm right on, right in right now. So, like, as you're flying, you just randomly find the ship and you become it and just you unlock it. Which I did on my test runs, you know, because I have to have some opinion, some idea of how hard the game is, how easy, you know, or uh, in general what's happening. So, I, I did not expect to unlock something, but as you see, you, you pretty quickly also unlock ships. So, that's nice, you know. They're not uh, trying to force you into doing tedious things to unlock a ship that you enjoy, for example. Which is always nice you know get the unlockables out of the way early and then just uh, build upon the, the game itself you don't need to have the unlockables be the main pro prospect aspect i don't know that people chase down because that's like a thing in a bunch of games artificially making the game bigger just through unlockables i mean one thing is unlockables another thing is you know things that you can use i guess i don't know opinions opinions I might not be ex expressing them. Whoa, we almost got off screen there. As you see, the flip flopping isn't really something you can just spam all the time. I mean, I am spamming it a bit. Here, you see this cross? This cross is where you change ships. So if I had the other ship, here I can go like boom, and I would have been now the ship I'm currently at. So if I had ch chosen the, the ship I had previously had, I could have just changed. I'm going to do it later. La later on the stage, you, you get the same chance again. So later on the stage, I'm going to showcase it better. Uh, here, let's do an ultimate. Why not? Uh, this thing's ultimate, as you see, uh, is a bit different. Instead of shooting, you know, four bullets very quickly, it still does the, the, the burst attack that it does. But it just does it a bit faster and also more bullets. I'm excited to see what the other ships are going to be, by the way. And here we got uh, an area where you cannot flip-flop. That's what I was saying that I'm gonna spoil. You know, as you see, the game is using its mechanic. And uh, if, if the game decides that you cannot flip-flop here, then straight up, they don't allow you to flip-flop. It's, it's as simple as that. Whoa, we got hit. That was a new move on my part. New move on my part. We got, uh, we got backstabbed. Maybe even baboozled. I still haven't died once, so I don't know. I mean, I once, I mean, not not right now. Like, I, I mean, in general, I haven't died yet, so I don't know what exactly happens when you die. Maybe you get sent on to a... Oh, I'm not allowed to flip. Okay. We're not allowed to flip. We got the overload. We're gonna keep it in, in case something madness, maddening happens here. Yep, everything, as you see, behind us is everything is dark. Here we got a checkpoint. Nice. So I feel safe again. And here I can change ship. Let's go with the other ship. I enjoy the other ship better. As you see, the game isn't even all oh, you're locked in with the ship you have. No, no, no. The game even allows you to flip flop ships on the fly. So that's really nice. And uh, here we found the first challenging this challenge room, I guess. This is uh, this is what I meant when I said the spoiler ahead. The game is actually restricting you once in a while. Now here, for example, if you want to avoid bullets, you have to go specifically in those two spots. We got sniped. We got sniped from nowhere, out of the blue. It's okay though, as you see, the game just literally just sends you back to the save point. I should not be in the, <laughs> I should not be left inside, or right, or to the left or to the right of a, of a zone. That that should be something I should have known, you know. In uh, in these arcade FPS shooters, if you don't know from where the opponents are gonna spawn, don't be in the back of the stage, don't be on the left or the right on the stage, just be in the middle, smack middle. Whoop, well, maybe not even in the middle. Maybe I was wrong. So we can just do this. As you see, we are super safe. Nothing can really touch us there. 
I mean, we lost the opponents. We let the opponents like fly away. We lost XP, I guess, or money or, or your points, whatever you want to call it. But uh, I mean, it's points. It's points. This is an arcane shooter. Once again, the whole idea here is to get a high score and then uh, brag about it to, you know, some kind of server, I guess. Uh, let's go with AoE. Let's go with AoE. Here, let's, let's change ships again. Okay, first opponent's toast. Let's go more of these. We are fighting little cubes. By the way, I've, I have still tested all this, but the moment we beat this boss, uh, because as we just saw, it just sends us back in the, in the... Yeah, the moment we beat this boss, we will... I will start finding new things, even for me. So, pretty, pretty easy first boss. I mean, I say pretty easy, but let's not forget that I literally got destroyed previously, so... As I said, the moment you see a panic thing happening, just just go invisible and go to the other side, I guess. As you see, even the, or even the bosses are on the other sides. Uh, I'm gonna wait here. Now we can just flip and like just like that, they cannot attack us. Let's go with the super. Let's go ultimate. There's a good chance we're gonna lose a bunch of DPS here. Okay, we got two of these destroyed. And just avoid everything, pick up the points. Okay, boss uh, Boss did what we do. I guess everything does. Well, I guess not everything. I guess a few things have the abilities that we also have. The blinking and stuff. Which is fine. Which is fine and not, not even only fine. It's, uh, in my opinion, a good thing. You know, opponents and bosses being able to flip-flop around like we do. That's, uh, that's part of the game. Well, like this, avoid. Avoid. You see, very simple. Whoa, 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 where are you going? Yeah, you stay there. You stay there. And we got him, right? Come on. Got him. Got him. Nice. And if anything, maybe this shotgun, um, you know, ship that we have might have even been more useful than not. As uh, it seems to shoot nine pellets for half a second. Again, instead of two every, I don't know, one millisecond. I don't even know how often these shoot. Anyway, let's continue. Might as well stick with the ship we have. A cycling bin. At the end of the day. Oh, by the way, the game is also a co-op game. So if, if you find a friend, you can play it with two. So, as far as I know, the co-op is two different, like, as you see right now, the game is in the middle of the screen. The co-op, as far as I know, there is a reason for this, that the co-op, you need, like, two screens. Because the one one person might be flip-flopping while the other person just sh sits around. So, um, you need to be able to both have access to the flip-flop mechanic. So, that's why... That's why the screen right now is like this small-ish, because if you play co-op, then two of these screens get put like side by side, and that covers the whole full screen on your PC, I guess. Which, um, yeah, I mean, if 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 they if you have to flip-flop, well, how do you otherwise do it? Because, you know, what actually flips is like the whole universe. It's not you specifically. Oh, they show you the two paths. That's a nice idea. So you can like flip-flop, but you don't know what the path is. And you have to come over to the other side, see which path is the easy one, and then decide which where you're gonna flip flop. That's nice. That's nice. Another uh, even more uses of this whole mechanic as a mechanic, right? You don't see where you're gonna flip in, and you flip back, and boom, here you are. By the way, as you see around us, we have like a red little thing. I guess right now everything around us is dangerous and allowed to touch because these walls are not dangerous. You can touch them as you see, but I guess these red walls are definitely dangerous. So, this just adds even more challenge to the already, uh, I guess, challenging game. I mean, I'm not sure yet. I'm not sure yet. Also, I'm playing on normal. So, to be honest, uh, we, I should point out that I'm playing on normal. So, if you want to do high scores and if you want to do crazy stuff, you will have to play in harder difficulties. But right now, I'm just exploring the game, you know, showcasing it to everybody. Let's continue zigzagging and everything. Okay. There is also an endless mode. So, don't think that, oh, you fight the six stages and it's over. Nope, there is actually more gameplay to this. And, uh, I mean, yeah, there is no end to say there. <laughs> there is just more gameplay to it than it seems right away. Let's continue. Once again, I'm going to repeat that the game is already launched. So, it's not like, oh, look at this. So what What is Sift playing? How can I play that too? You can just go follow the link in the description. Well, we got a new ship, I think. Or is it just the two we have already? I think it's the two we have already. Let's go with the other one that I enjoy a bit more. I enjoy this a bit more just because it's it fires faster. It uh, it always feels nice. Although because it covers less ground with each shot, there is a good chance that it's oh blindness has struck me. Let's go with my ultimate, as there is no real reason to just keep it forever. 
Okay, we got another like challenge room area here. Let's uh, let's pretty much avoid everything, if possible. It's nice. It's nice sometimes that just all the opponents are on literally the same side, so you can flip to the the other side and just feel safe. You know, it's a bit weird sometimes where the background, you know, you see bullets and stuff um, all over the place, but otherwise, it's always nice. Let's go here with our ultimate. Maybe I should have kept it for a boss or something, but who cares, honestly? Checkpoint, nice. I remember, I, I thought that the checkpoint gives you health, but uh, I was wrong about that. That's why we died previously, by the way. <laughs> Let's go again. I hope you guys don't mind me losing. I mean, if anything, me beating the game in the first try wouldn't even be, you know, representative of what the game normally looks like for every player playing, right? So, I think it's fair. It's fair game, losing once in a while, losing some points. You know, whoop, I see opponents here in the background. There is no reason for me to deal with them. They might as well avoid these two. I can avoid just, just straight up everything. I really love this mechanic. I really love the mechanic that can just be like, whoops, I'm away. Whoops, I'm back. And then when the game decides to, nope, it's no longer whoops, I'm away, whoops, I'm back. Now it is a normal, normal mechanic that you have to deal with. Now, now it becomes, no, no, no. You don't flip flop whenever you want. Now you flip flop when we decide you to, which is nice, which is, uh, you know, a change of pace. And here we go with the next flip flops. Oh, there is a checkpoint here that I almost missed. As you see, checkpoints are also uh, side dependent. So there is a chance you might lose one. Let's continue gathering points. I mean, I'm gathering points by losing points. So that's like a high tier tactic right there. You want to know? You can just stay on one side, destroy everything instead of, you know, going to both sides and just you know, dealing with everything. Let's flip flop. I see the... Tell the mine, they're almost at us. See the checkpoint? That's always nice. And here we get another change of ship before the boss, I guess. Now we're gonna keep what we have. I enjoy this ship more. I don't know. Once again, might be wrong about this. By the way, I have uh, put in an option that makes me shoot all the time on its own. So that's why it's shooting all the time on its own. Is there a difference in what I attack? I would assume so, right? Oh, am I blind? Don't answer that. Yeah, I am actually. Oh, they are shooting pieces of them. I get it. Let's hope that it's not gonna do something crazy. That was scary. I see some rings that are flowing towards us. I guess this whole... Am I... What hit us? Wait. Is the boss throwing debris on us? I think I'm gonna play the other ship. Let's play the other ship. Seems like this boss has a bunch of smalling pieces. So that's also something to point... I like to keep... To keep track of depending on what the boss does a different ship might be better or not like this boss has a million small pieces flying around and in general the enemies are like spread out so it's better to go with this because it spreads the bullets although on average it might do less because you know you cannot really control which bullets are gonna go where because oh, because you know you want to be able to do a bit more damage to the opponent but uh, still, I mean, it's better, you know? You're like, do I do I want to be able to do focus damage or do I want to be better at doing... I think those little debris that fly around actually hit us. But do I want to be better at... Whoa! Did he flip-flop? What, what? I don't understand what the boss is doing. We might die here a million times and this video might become a bit tiring, but I can. I, I think I can do it. I mean, I hope I can do it. Seems to me that the boss is... I need to flip-flop a bit more often. No! Okay. The moment I said I need to flip-flop a bit more often. Yeah, that was that was the mistake. Oof! Oof, 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 oof. Well, I really don't want to lose more than one time at the same spot. Because I'm not editing my videos. And honestly speaking, I don't want to be tiring. But I don't think there is any solution to this. Other than be more careful. I think the small bits that are flying off threw me off on the, my first attempt. Like, the small bits that these uh, these things throw are actually damaging. And that's what uh, hit us both times. Whoop, flip-flop. Let's pick up some points. Okay, these rings. If I, if I pass this stage without getting hit another time, then we should be good. Theoretically. Because now the heart... Like, this pass. If I pass this part without getting hit, I understand what hit me. Okay, I, I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, and just say that it was cheating. <laughs> so previously I got hit because the electricity appeared literally behind us, I guess. Okay, I got the ultimate. So we're gonna blast this opponent. Okay, that mechanic is fun though. This electricity appearing behind you, in my opinion, is a bit of cheat. But uh, it's not really that bad because at the end of the day you just learn the pattern and avoid it. 
It's as simple as that. That's what arcade games are anyway. And if you think about it, that is what arcade games are. Wow. That was very lucky. Oh, wait. I was wrong. This electricity does not hit you. Hmm. Well, then we just were unlucky. Okay, boss is dead. Oh, there is a second boss here. This fight has become more and more complex. Okay, second boss is also toast. Oh, another one of these. How many times do I have to do this? I'm gonna do an ultimate here. I mean, I'm keeping the ultimate for when we actually get the big chance. Because there is always one big chance. You know, there is always like a phase where the, the boss is uh, exposed and the time has come for you to open the ultimate and destroy it. I mean, at least that's what I'm assuming right now. You know what? Let's go. I think this is it. I think this is the part where the boss is done. Nope, it's not. I think it's the next one then. Okay, this is going pretty well though. Whoa, 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 whoa. I, that was a mistake. No, 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 no. Now I'm afraid that I'm going to lose. Now I'm afraid that we're going to lose. And if that happens... Uh, I will be very sad. I'm afraid. I'm afraid. I'm afraid. No! I should have stayed away. I should have stayed away. I got a one-up. That's a thing? That's a thing in this game. Okay, let's continue. Let's do another one. Ah, three times the... Okay, ah, yes, 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 and again, yes. I will say yes to this. Games that are like, games that value your time are always a big yes to me. Now, you might say, yo, Sif, no, it's borderline cheating. You didn't beat the boss in your first attempt and whatnot, but no, I, I completely disagree with that notion. I think games that are like, you know what, bro, you got to the point with this boss where you arrived at that point of the fight, so we're just gonna give you, you know, one more attempt on the same part where you died. I think that is very nice. And at the end of the day, you're losing points anyway. Like, instead of the game being like, no, play the boss again from the beginning. No, the game's like, you know what, you're gonna lose high score from this. And uh, yeah, this is a high score game, so you can go ahead and uh, play this game and die four times, as you see. But at the end of the day, you're gonna be ranking 39. Nice. I guess that's very... I think that is very low. Um, considering that I think right now the only people playing it are uh, most likely other people that have access to this to this early version so I'm uh, I'm spot 39 between the rest of the influencers that have played this game I guess and maybe even the devs and whatnot so th that's really I think a bad score but at the end of the day that's what I meant in the first place right that's literally what I meant in the first place let's go with an ultimate here why not just pick up a bunch of XP uh, yeah that's literally what I meant when I said that uh, you decide if you want to go for the high score, if you just want to beat the game, you know, unlock the ships, you know, start getting used to which ships you like, which not, uh, learn patterns and stuff. Yeah, that's that's not... Oh, we got a new ship. It's not the side, it's on the side. What is this? A little machine gun? Destructor 2000 is an achievement I got. Oh, this does a lot more damage. Yeah, I guess instead of shooting very quickly, that like the rest do, it, it just shoots pretty rarely, but with a lot more damage. And also, it seems like it has a few small explosives happening whoop that's a new little tidbit of a mechanic i like that mechanic i like that mechanic of uh, waves in general wave mechanics let's see my ultimate Whoa, okay my ultimate is i do aoe i see and i also get hit because i'm sift and uh, i'm like oh look at the other side there are opponents opponents cannot attack us only i can attack them and just like that you get destroyed okay i see mines on the other side i'm not sure if it's a good idea to get some mines let's flip flop through them and i died on purpose. Yeah, we're gonna say that that was on purpose just because I wanted to reset my shield. Yeah, that's what we're gonna say. <laughs> that's what we're gonna go ahead and say. It's not that I literally was unable to see the background because I'm blind like that. No, 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 that was not it. <laughs> it was, it was I. <laughs> Everything was planned, guys. Everything was planned. I think the reset should give you the shield back. No, 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 no. I was about to say I think the reset, the reset should give you the shield back. But no, you know why? Because once again, this is an arcade game. You are supposed to play as best as as, as good as you can. So if, if the game gave you shield back on, on the reset, then well, everybody would have had an easier time. That's not how arcade games, in my mind at least, should be made. Arcade games, you know, the games that are literally made for you to do high scores should be as hard as possible because maybe the first time it's hard, maybe the second time it's hard, maybe the third time it's hard, but at some point you will learn the patterns, you will learn what enemies do, you will learn even the opponents, right? You will learn like everything within a stage. 
So you will have to have some kind of challenge, like not getting the resets back, uh, not getting the shield back. Because all of this is not randomized. Like, these opponents are, will always be the same, the stages will always be the same. So, you know, when you when you when when everything is, like, fixed, you have to have some kind of challenge. And, you know, that, that challenge right now is the fact that you have pretty much two lives for the whole stage. Which is fair. Which is fair, because this is what the game is supposed to be. Okay, let's continue. Flip-flop all around. And I really enjoy this, this ultimate. Look at this, look at this. Woo, this, this, this just... I love it. I love it. I love seeing big, uh, big pluses and numbers and, you know, and I still enjoy this, this attack pattern that this opponent does. So many things well made. So many things well made. Especially the fact that everything, like, fits the th to the theme. Uh, the flip-flop theme is what I mean. Everything fits to the flip-flop meme. Uh, not meme theme. <laughs> I will keep what I have. I enjoy what I have. This, this means that we're going into a boss fight, by the way. So let's go into the boss fight, that is. Whoop. It's the lady warning, 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 warning. Panic, panic, panic. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. That felt a bit not fair. But once again, well, I'm gonna repeat what I literally said previously. It's an arcade game, so even if you get hit by something unfair, you still can just rerun and uh, beat it next time. Okay, let's attack the left one, that it's getting damaged. Wait, it's not. When do things get damaged? Oh, I guess they have to be red and electric. I guess they have to be red. Yeah, okay, got one. So I can attack them when they are, like, closed off. That's what I understand. So this now should be damageable. Okay, got it, got it. Now wait for one of these two to close off, like this one. You see? You learn, you learn. Slowly you learn. That's how these games are played. Okay, let's continue with the boss. I'm gonna go to the other side in case here we got some damage to do. Nope. Yeah, I see the other side is pretty clean. No, oh, the mines, man. The mines. Okay, got one. Let's get rid of the mines here. Let's attack the right one. Right one's toast too. Very nice. I see the back line is dropping mines. Nope, we got some bullets here, so that's it. So whatever is shooting bullets is the one that I can attack. Also, by the way, prepare for me to most likely die. Let's hope we hit somehow a checkpoint because, as you see here, we are uh, getting pretty damaged. Uh, I see from the back line that the next area is what I want to deal with. Here we go. Let's actually get the money. Let's go here. Wait, what? That thing got destroyed retroactively. <laughs> I think I was blasting it and then I flip-flopped and it just died. It just happened to die at that exact moment. Oh, we got a, we got square. Oh, no, 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 no. I This is uh, this this needs getting used to. I think we're going to be at the same spot. I think we're not going to be at the same spot, actually. And once again, it was a, we, we died because one of the two hits we got was obviously before the boss fight. Yeah, we're gonna do the same boss fight again, it seems. So, it is what it is, but now we're learning. Now we're learning, now we're faster. Let's go instantly to the side that just shoots bullets, and now this is also toast. You see, that's what I meant. That's literally what I meant. These games, the more you learn it, the more you blast through it. I didn't get any damage boost, I didn't get any meta progression, I didn't get anything. The only thing that I got was knowledge. And just by, by the sheer fact that I know how this boss works now, I'm 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 just better at it. Even if I'm not better skill-wise, I'm better, you know, mechanics-wise. I know what I have to do, I know what I have to dodge, I know how this fight works. And uh, I think that's like the, the magic of arcade games. The fact that after playing a bit, you know and you feel that, you know, the reason why you're good at this is because you have played the game. And not of because of anything else because you know it's you it's you and only you it's not like you got any meta progression it's not like you were lucky and you got the the god rolls or the perfect uh, you know whatever uh are you ever, ever gonna do it or uh okay got it my toast i just decided that i wanted to destroy the first side first and then the other one and uh, the reason for that is that i would enjoy you know not having to deal with at least one of the two sides so that i have always a safe sh a safe spot because this is how we died here, by the way. This is literally how we died on this one. I need to get rid of everything that spawns. So that I destroy the cypher uh, today, please. I guess the side goes first then. Wow. Unbelievable. Ugh, let's go again. Uh, you know what? Let's... No, we're gonna keep this. This does more damage than the rest. Uh... <laughs> so, almost got hit there. It's just to be like, oh, the fact that you play this game more makes you learn the mechanics and then you just become better and you feel better, blah, 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 blah. And then he goes ahead and dies at the exact same spot he died the first and the previous time. 
I mean, that's also the thing in the roguelike. This is also a thing in the arcade games, literally. Like, a lot of times, the place where you die is the place where you die the second time you play too. Because of the reason that... There was a reason why you died there. Because you, you didn't realize how to, you know, survive that fight before you got destroyed. So, it, it, most of the time, it's like literally the same reason of why you lose the second time too. <laughs> right? I wasn't good at this, so I still... It, it's not like I learned it. Because when you lose... No, when you win, when you win, when you beat something and you actually win, uh, it means that you, you know, you are able to dodge it. You learn to dodge it. You you achieved the, the the good, you know, thing. While if you die to it, it means that it it was it bested you. So there is a chance that it might best you again. You know, it's like in a bunch of games when you when you beat a boss. Then, when you, when you beat a boss, for example, in your first uh, try, or when you avoid an enemy in your first try, or, you know, when, when you're really good at something and just defeat it, most of the time you are able to defeat it, you know, again. Like, you fight a mob, you kill it, and then if the boss kills you a bit later, well, the, the mob that you kill, though, is still gonna be beatable because you already have beaten it once. So you have some kind of idea. What is happening? It seems like the moment I flip-flop is the moment they decide to start blasting. Okay, we got one of these. I also got my ultimate ready. So now I can just stay here if I want. I'm gonna stay here and get rid of these. Okay, now I got a safe spot though. I have to realize that. Realize. And we got this. Nice. That part's also toast. They're really close to the end, I would assume. Okay, we got the right side here too. So now we already got a safe spot for this area. Which is really good. Okay, yeah, you're toast. And now we got rid of that. Let's also pick up our coinage. No reason to lose our points. Whoop, these, these are new ships, I think. They move an also target. And now the actual boss. Now, if we're gonna die here, I would assume that this is a checkpoint. Oh, there is a checkpoint. Literally, you see it, even you even get it. You even see getting it. Ah, uh, no, I'm gonna stick to what I have. Whoa, that was fast. Let's go ultimate. By the way, maybe it's gonna destroy him. Maybe we're gonna get a quick win. By the way, as you see, we're not able to flip-flop anymore. I guess that's the idea of this boss fight. That, that you're not able to flip-flop. Which would be fair, honestly. Oh, is boss dead? That Was that it? I'm pretty sure that was not it. Explosion! We got a bunch of coinage. Ah, oh, now checkpoint. Nice. I really love it when the, the game just is give us gives us checkpoints. What? What is this? The boss flip-flops. Uh, avoid the mining things. The mines. Whoa, 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 madness is happening here. We're gonna avoid. Is the boss on both sides? That's what it feels like. Oh, 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 madness is behind us. We're not gonna go in the background. Forget that. Oh, okay. Avoid the mines. Ooh, ooh, this is going very well. Although I would assume that there is a good chance we're gonna die in a moment. Oh, I know myself and I know I can throw. Come on. Got him. No throw has happened. And we got a super shield as you see. Well, I guess when the boss dies, you get a super shield because the, the normal shield does not look this this big. Okay, and now stage down. Let's go on. Hmm. To boldly go. Continue. Next stage, level four. So there are six stages, as I said. If um, if I'm good enough, we might see them all. Otherwise, if I'm not, we might not. So if if I beat all the stages, I will also showcase endless mode a bit. Uh, otherwise, I mean, if I mean if I don't beat all the stages, that means I will be stuck somewhere because, <laughs> you know what? No, if I do like if if I get to a boss or something that I can't beat and I die like five or six times to it, I'm just gonna go endless mode just to log at it. Although time-wise, I think we can easily get everything done. Because honestly speaking, if we're like if if this oh I I didn't realize that the background is literally enemies. So this is farm farm city. And yeah, look at this. Look at how many points we're getting already. Our first checkpoint. 4,000 points right away. And like the previous stage was what? 30,000 points. So we're already halfway. Not halfway. One, uh, one fifth, one tenth, whatever. What is that? What's happening? Okay, we got hit. That's happening. Oh, they're even... Wow, they add even more things to this game. Insane. Now we've got buttons. Oh, now we've got buttons that we gotta deal with. Keep those in mind. Okay. I, I feel like we're gonna die here in a moment. I feel very claustrophobic right now. But, uh, yeah, it looks like we're dealing with it. Yeah, let's get the checkpoint right away before anything else happens. These do not look like new ships. 
I'm thinking about YOLOing, uh, you know, yeeting off because as you see, we're missing a bit of a life point. Let's go here. Let's also go here. So I got my lasers down and this looks like a challenge room. Okay, as long as I just keep in mind what is happening in my side, I should be able to uh, survive. Man, the, the, the black bullet, the, 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 the dark, the background bullets always seem like danger to me. Okay, we're pretty safe, pretty safe. As long as I keep my mind of where the red things are in the background. Or, you know, the gray things, depending on how you see these. Wait, what? Did I power that up again? Why would I power that up again? For what reason would you do that? I see mines. Okay, everything is in the background, so we're gonna first deal with the foreground. It's it's a bit it's a bit weird. It's a bit weird. Like you see the background and you see things moving and shadows and stuff, and you're like, whoa, this is dangerous. But nope, it's actually not dangerous at all. You can just flip flop whenever. No, sift in his big mouth. <laughs> it's not dangerous at all. Blah 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 blah. He dies. <laughs> No, we gotta do this again. No. But that's arcade games for you. That's arcade games for you. Let's do this again. I I mixed up what shoots what. That was the problem. I didn't realize that. Um, yeah, I, I didn't realize what was what. That's also the problem with the darkness in general. The fact that you don't realize what actually shoots the bullets. Where the bullets are in comparison to where you are. And a bunch of other stuff. Like right now, you can't know that these are like opponents over here, but the moment I flip-flop, you know, they start shooting towards us. Whoop. That was almost got hit. Let's go with an ultimate. Let's just go with an ultimate. Let's just, just deal with it. Yeah, you go. Oh, is this a mini boss? Yeah, it looks like a mini boss. That was a skillful dodging, I would say. If I would say so myself. And I'm afraid of the flip-flop at this point. I'm pretty sure this is one of those games where the super high score runs and the speedrunners and you know, it's for these people. This is a game for people that enjoy speedrunning, enjoy, uh, you know, arcade games, bullet, uh, bullet shoot, bullet hell games, and, and in general are good with these. And I know for a fact that there are people that are actually really good with these. Might not be me, but you know, when I say good with these, I mean, imagine somebody being able to flip flop exactly right, right moment, correct, you know, dodge everything, never get hit. Uh, destroy opponents and then just leave because if you see my bullets in the background do fly like uh, look look at the background you see the background where my bullets fly for a moment do you see this like uh, the opponents are still in their area so you can you can like hit like an opponent five or six times and then just disappear and that opponent will still get hit f for for the rest like you can take five shots then disappear and those five shots will actually continue traveling even if you flip flop you don't need to wait you can easily oh my wishing to rule them is what I mean, you know. You can easily just be like, whoop, you are already toast. I already shot my bullets, now I go away. And in the background, opponents explode. Yeah, you see? You can even see it. You see? You see how opponents are destroyed get destroyed in the background? Whoa! Sift is blind. Sift is born blind. I'm not born blind. I'm sorry if that's offensive. I'm sorry. I mean I don't think I'm I'm gonna stop talking about what I was about to speak. Okay, I know what I need to do. Let's continue onwards. Let's go on. Oof. Oh, we got this wave thing. And I also see the arrows. Okay, we got the checkpoint, so that's done. I'm still having only one life. So, gotta keep in mind, there is a good chance we're just straight up gonna die instantly. But if we do, then so be it. The magnet seems to be a bit off. Or a bit wonky. I mean, wonky or off, one of the two. But still, the magnet seems a bit weird to me sometimes. Sometimes it magnetizes like the whole stage. Sometimes it doesn't. I guess it has to do with how many pluses are next to each other. Like when there are like a million, millions upon millions of like little points next to each other, then the magnet just pulls them all in. While on the other hand, if there are like only three or four, it just well, almost, almost yoloed. I didn't, don't know if you saw it. I, I literally died in front of the, almost died in front of the that thing. If you go back, you're gonna see me trying to actually touch a bullet. Uh, ooh, the mechanics, the game becomes deeper and deeper. Mechanics become weirder and weirder. Love it, love it, love it, love it. With, you know, with the labyrinth thing, you have to go to the background to avoid the front ground, and then you have to go to the front ground again. Let's actually just pick up the checkpoint. Uh, I'm still expecting a new ship. I'm expecting a new shipment to arrive. Okay, where am I supposed to do? I guess around. Let's go. 
Ho ho ho. The thing is that you have to keep in mind to literally avoid, but try to keep in mind what's happening where you are about to avoid to, right? Okay, got it, got it, got it, got it, done. Checkpoint, got it. Can I get a new ship? Or is it gonna be at stage 5? I guess we're gonna get a new ship at stage 5. I like how these are desynced. Why are these desynced? I know, warning, warning, warning. Oh, we're 40 minutes in. You know what? Because we're 40 minutes in, I think I'm gonna do an endless next. Oh, can we hit him? Oh, he's in both directions. Did he become mad because I flipped? I think he became mad because I flipped. I think he's becoming mad because I flipped. What is this? <gasps> okay, I guess I need to hit those and hit him like with the lasers. Yep, got him. Got him. I get the mechanics. I'm a smart boy. Okay. Hit here, avoid. Hit here, avoid. Oh. Oh, I can hit one of the two mostly. Wait, what? The, the whole idea here is to just dodge everything? I guess. Did I get hit? No, I think I got hit. I think I got... Whoa, 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 we're dead. Oh, we're dead. I'm panicking heavily here. I'm panicking heavily. I see the background. Okay, th that's what I have to do now. I have to look at the background and only, only dodge if I'm sure that the dodge is safe. Like, there is no other solution. Hit him with a laser. And he got super mad. Oh, points, points and points. Okay, now I can actually attack him. Let's go, Bombiz. I want to go closer, though. Bombiz. Did we die? No, we're still alive. Okay, we did a bit of hits at the end, too. So these red bullets are pretty easy to dodge. Now the next one have a chance to hit us. We're going to dodge here. Okay, pretty nice. Now the walls are done, too. We are still winning him. Winning him. These, once again, pretty easy patterns. As long as he's keeping it to the... Side, I'm, I'm dead. <gasps> Whoa, still alive. I don't even believe in myself. I don't believe in myself in these games, man. I'm, I'm a super panic guy. No! I almost did the play. You saw what I tried to do. I tried to flip-flop through those. Like, I, I flipped through the line and then tried to go forward and flip it to the red again. But I, I was a bit too fast. I was a bit too eager. Don't go from the beginning. Okay, we're not from the beginning. Nice, 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 nice. This is actually nice. Honestly, this is really nice. Like, they have a gimmick part of this fight. And then they're like, yo, you know what? You're not going to play the gimmick part again. You're going to only play the normal part again. Which is really fair in my opinion. And uh, I, I'm really happy that they did that instead of, you know, oh, being like, you're going to go through the gimmick twice. We don't care. Uh, let's dodge here. Yeah, honestly, things like these, man. Things like these. When, when you feel like your time is not wasted, you know, and you're like, do, do you want to get a high score? Do you want to rerun this? Then go ahead and do it. But we allow you to continue running the run. Let's go here and here. That's what I wanted to do the first time. <laughs> Again, here and here. I didn't get hit. Borderline didn't get hit, by the way. Okay, this is an easy pattern. Just stay at the very back and should not be able to attack us. Whoop, whoop. Okay, the other side is the easy pattern. <laughs> nice. Okay, we got another one of those. And I think we're gonna go into with an ultimate. Go. Oh, I don't have an ultimate. I dodged, but nice. Now I got an ultimate, though. Let's go. Teen, 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 teen. I don't care. You're dead, right? I should have cared. I should have cared. This is not over. Dodge. Woo. What is happening? Can I only attack him on one side? No, that's not a thing. I don't understand what's happening. I guess it was just his damage immune. No, I can only attack him on one side. Yeah, that seems to be it. Yeah, that seems to be what is happening. He has a bunch of sides that have all different lives. And uh, depending on what I attack with... No, he's coming closer, I'm afraid. Oh, wow! I understood what happened. Please keep me at the final phase. Please, 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 please. I mean, if it isn't the final phase, it's fair still. But yeah, I'm gonna go... Ne next to the thing is gonna go... We're gonna go endless. Good thing it, it kept us in the last phase. I really love this, man. I really love the fact that they, they value your time. They're like, you know what? We're just gonna let you go through the stages. It, it just allow... They, they just allow you, you know? You, you can just do whatever you want. By the way, we previously died because I didn't realize that the arrows are always in the front line. I thought that he just shot more arrows. So I didn't realize fast enough that, uh, you know, they are in both, in both um, dimensions, I guess. And we got him. Yeah, we could have beaten that the previous uh, round too, but it is what it is. <laughs> you even have to flip-flop to pick up all the, all the points. 
<laughs> nice. Yeah, let's go a bit of endless. Let's go one endless run, see how it is. And uh, I think then we're gonna end the video. Well, at the end of the day, I didn't do all the stages. I'm not sure if it was because of the 3 and 5 and whatever deaths we got here and there, but uh, I think it's fair enough. So let's see if I'm actually correct about how many stages there are. 5, 6. Wait, I beat this? No, I didn't beat this. So yeah, we have 5 and 6. Glitchen, Neon, Smokers, Glitchen, Infected. Ah, it is what it is. Let's go with Endless, as I said. Let's see how Endless looks like. Uh, Storm mode, Infinite mode. Finish the game on harder, on hard or higher. Oh! Uh, well, I'm gonna play another stage then. Wait, I'm missing a ship? How? I'm okay. Okay, because I missed this ship, I'm assuming that it was either a secret in the second stage, because I didn't get the ship in the second stage, or you have to play in higher difficulty. And you know what? I respect him for that. I respect him for that. I mean, at the end of the day, you should play this game in higher difficulty slowly anyway. Like, that's the replayability of this. You increase difficulty level, you gain more XP, you gain more coins, you gain more points. I mean, the the, the words I use do not exist in this game. You just get more points. But uh, yeah, I mean, I respect him for that. And I have no idea if it's in secret, if you get the ships from secrets or if you get them from, uh, you know, difficulty, as I said. But uh, you can go ahead and find it out on your own, you know? Because my plan was not to unlock everything. My plan was just, just play and showcase the game. Which I think I'm achieving good. And also, you know what? The fact that I'm dying once in a while... <laughs> I'm on, on purpose playing with the mind there. Uh, the fact that I'm dying once in a while uh, is gonna, you know, just give, you, give out pointers about the fact that... Uh, you will die in this game. <laughs> you will die in this game. It's an arcade game. So I I'm giving you the full experience here. <laughs> the, the, the you lose to once in a while experience. Don't think you're shooting. I'm just... Whoa, look how many coins we got. Insane. Whoop, the mines. I love the mine mechanic, I have to say, though. What is this? Okay, I got hit for no reason there. But uh, what what is this uh, area-wise? Oh, I don't know. These are points, though, so we're gonna pick up some points. That's the good thing with this ship, though. I have to say, the good thing with this ship is because all its shots do explosions... You can easily destroy, like, debris and stuff. Which is good, because this debris then also explodes on top of all that, so it's even better. Put the checkpoint. I still don't get exactly what's happening in the background there, but whatever. Yeah, you see? Explosions, man. Explosions. Explosions. Points, points, points. Is this a new ship? I don't see any new ship. Let's continue. Now let's run to the left and to the right. Time-wise, we might even be fast enough at getting the next... We might even go against the final stage. Yeah, let's continue. Whoop, whoop. Explosion to everything. Let's continue. Zigzagging goes pretty well. Explodes everything here. Explodes everything there. Open up the door. What is this? Close the door. Why would I open up both and then close one of them? I don't get it. It's gone, by the way, this I don't get it as a meme. Let's uh, run backwards, frontwards, backwards, whatever. Uh oh. Oh, we got a new ship. We got the new ship. And uh, we died. We died here, as you know. System failure. It's okay. We got the new ship. Okay. Uh. Oh, uh, the bullets deflect backwards. Okay, I get it. Oh, they explode in general, actually. Okay, we got like quadrupling, uh, quadruple exploding bullets. Got it. So that's what the uh, new ship is. That's what the new ship is. Okay, we're not gonna go to pick up the new ship again. <laughs> Everything's like, wow, we're, we're in like an, in a crazy factory or something. Uh oh, <gasps> oh! I should have just blasted through that. Whoa, we're gonna die! <laughs> I should have gone a bit faster. Yeah, I'm not good at this. I have to say though, I have to say, this stage is insane. Like for people that enjoy these things. People that enjoy going front and back and just avoiding everything, you know, and just rushing through things. Uh, oh, the game did not allow me to YOLO myself off. Continue here. Okay, no, now is the time though, now is the time. Now we're gonna get it. We, you just need to be in the very front and just don't be a f Are you kidding me right now? I'm gonna make this, we're gonna make this. Come on, give me a checkpoint, yes. I got the checkpoint, so I'm safe now. Uh... I mean, I did get the checkpoint, and I was safe, so I didn't lie. 1-up. I don't know what the 1-up is, though. Wait, are there lives in this game? 
Wait, can you die? Where are my lives? Wait a minute. There's a chance you might die in this game. Although, that, that would also not make sense as... Ah, okay. I almost locked myself out there. Are there lives in this game? Whoa, that was nice. Destroyer is an achievement I got. So that's, let's avoid those. Okay, we literally are gonna just fly through this and not give him any ch Oh, I tried to avoid. I tried- Oh! Whoa! Man, you need to learn these stages. No joke. Like, I, as I said, this is an arcade game. Arcade game. So wh what I was mentioning in the beginning is actually true for this game fully. Right now, for example, you can really feel it. Wow! Whoa! Oh, man. Oh, man. So, first of all, I think we just learned that there are no lives. But I have to say, this uh, this press being uh, able to destroy us. Okay, I, I got hit, but I, at least I got through this. Now I just need a. Now I just need a. What is it called? A checkpoint. <laughs> now I need a checkpoint. Wait, how do you do this? Oh, you run into there and then you just blink. Oh, got it. And I choose the wrong side. No. <laughs> uh, what am I gonna? Oh, we got the checkpoint, so we're safe. Now we wallow this. Okay, we're done through this too. I love this, man. I, I love these uh, weird mechanics that you have to avoid here and there and you have to be careful and whatnot. I don't like the ship, though. I don't like the new ship we got. I'm a bit sad about that. Uh, I also think this game is going to be insane in co-op or multiplayer or... Yeah, it's co-op, by the way. The multiplayer in this game is co-op. <gasps> you load into the checkpoint. That's how we do. I'm better at playing on clutch than not. <laughs> if the game is chilling and everything's going well, well... We might just move for no reason into a death trap and die. But if the game is maddening and you don't know what's happening in front of you, then you're a good player. You know, then, then is when the true... How did I die? Th that's like a serious question. How did I... I still don't know what the lives do, by the way. Let's avoid those. I don't know how I died. Uh, I have to say, definitely, 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 for this stage, the other ship is 100% better. 100% better. Because, uh, obviously, you don't wanna... You, you want all these boxes to destroy, uh, get destroyed instantly. Let's pick up the checkpoint. So, there's that. I mean, time-wise. Time-wise, 52 minutes. Yeah, I think... Whoop, that was a mistake. Nope, that was a correct. <laughs> that was a correct. I think I'm gonna let leave the final stage for you guys to explore. I'm not gonna play it. Uh, so, this is... Oh! Let me through! Let me through! I'm dead. <laughs> okay. Okay, let's go here, flip-flops both, let's go here, flip-flops one, let's go again. This is a game where you see Sift struggle. I mean, it's not like I was ever good at arcade games. So, oh, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? This thing is just straight up trying to kill us. Go through it. I was not fast enough on the... This This is not a, This is not an easy fight. <laughs> this is not easy. Uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure people are cringing right now, but I really cannot do anything about it. I cannot do anything about it. That, this is the game. This is literally the game. And you know what? If you're cringing, then I'm succeeding. You know why? Because if, if you think you're better than me, just play the game. Just go play the game, and you're gonna see. I, I know how I, can, I, I beat that now. Now that I, now that I tried something specifically, and I died twice, now I know how to beat it. You're gonna see. We're not gonna lose life to that anymore. Trust. Trust the process. You lose five or six times, then you learn by dodged. Now I need to avoid the next one, which is this one. Dodged, dodge this one too. Dodge this one too. Dodge forward. Wow! Huh? What do you say now? Whoa! No! Don't speak. I didn't ask what do you say now. I didn't mean it. <laughs> okay, I think if I die again, I wanna get through the stage. What do you guys believe? Should I just stop playing? You know what? I think the, the more frustrated I make you guys, the more the, the higher the chances you're gonna try to beat it on your own. Just to prove yourself that it actually it was easier than Sift said it was. You know what? I'm gonna buy time for myself here. That was death. Go. Ah, I get it. I get it. You need... That, that's, that's the problem. <laughs> oh, that's the problem when you know... Yes, we got it. That's the problem when you see things for the first time, you know. That, that's literally the problem. <laughs> you don't know what's happening. And we speed up. Speed. Gas, gas, gas. And take your foot off the gas. Ta -da. Might be copyrighted as a song. What is happening? Oh, is this a... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Yeah, that's not it. This is not it. Okay, got it. 
I'm a, I'm a riddle solving genius. Uh, and in case you're a coder, you know, you know how I did it. You should know how you de do these, you know, puzzles. Brute Force. Brute Force is the name of the game. And this is going to be the last boss we're going to fight today. Let's see how this goes. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, I see the background, though. I see the background, though. Okay, now this one is shooting these bullets. Okay, I, I saw the weak spot. Got it. So the very last, the very last little pip is the weak spot. Not really that hard as a concept to grasp. I mean, right now we're pretty safe in our little corner over here. I can also do this. Got him. Man, we're not doing enough damage. That's one thing for sure. Uh, he's shooting the wrong side. Nice, he's not shooting the wrong side, but that other one is. Okay, we're pretty safe here. We almost got hit, though. <gasps> panic, panic, panic. Man, this is madness. By the way, I'm trying to keep an eye on what's happening in the background in case I need to, you know, dodge. Right, we're pretty safe here in the corner. Okay, we're more safe in the other universe. Let's go shooting. Man, this, this, this thing has a lot of life. What happened? We slowed down. Okay, okay. Oh, he died? We only have to deal with the... the oh! What? Where were those bullets? Where were those bullets? It might take me like 10 minutes to beat this thing. <laughs> this is the tried and true experience of Sift. You see me literally play a game for the first time and struggle a bit here and there. So if you should have played the previous the game, you should have played the game before you started live streaming. I don't know. I, I think, I think I'm 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 showing a more you know real picture. You know now, now you're actually seeing what this looks like. A person playing this game for the first time and not being good at arcade games. So if I'm not good at arcade games, I mean I'm decent at games in general, but not specifically like bullet shooters and stuff. So if I can do it, then you can do it too. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I, th I start believing that these are not two ships, but I think they are four. Although, I might be wrong on that. Yeah, it feels like we, we have one dark and one white on uh, on this side. And then there are another two of these on the other side. Th that's what it feels like, at least. Or at least the way I, I died is what made that feel like that. Okay, got one. Got another one. The slowdown is happening. Go to the other side, pick up our points. Okay, now we go to the second phase, I get. Oh, okay, now we're blasting through them like butter. Because, you know, it's a very well-known fact that people say, right? Isn't it like a saying? Blasting through it like butter? That's the saying, just just like that. No knife, no nothing. The, 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 the expression is, blast through them like butter. <laughs> I hope you guys get the jokes I'm, I'm putting out, because I hope people don't think that I'm just... Completely. What the, what is this guy saying? Is this guy crazy? Does this guy know English language? By the way, I'm not an English man. Oh, an alien. Whoop, let's get through that. Okay, so I understand how the boss works. By the way, in case you didn't understand how the boss works, you destroy their pa laser flying my laser. Okay. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Come on, man. The flames of behind it. Come on. I mean, it's fair. It's fair. But the common goes towards me, right? The common goes towards me. The fact that... Okay. Th that was not fair. <laughs> the flames hitting us was fair. This, what just happened, was not fair. Where do I hit them? Firing malaise. Oh, I got to the Oh, I got to destroy them with explosions. I'm stupid. By the way, did you see that after I died, the first thing that was written was um, X, uh, points lost, like 16,000 points lost? That's what I meant. That's literally what I meant when I said, oh, come on, we literally lost the one life. Game be like, yeah, we're, we know you're going to lose it, so we just made you lose it right away. So, uh, like I was saying, the game literally is like, you can play this as, as many times as you want, but, but, you're going to... Uh, what is it called? You're gonna lose all your points you gathered. Like, every single one. You get zero points. Yeah, avoid the laser. This is a weird fight. And you know what's the main problem? That I'm staying in the middle. I should be in the sides. I should be in the very sides because I need to avoid popping these bombs. The points are not in front of them. No. Got one. What? What is this? 
What is this? Okay, this is not for me. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, I think we're gonna end this here. I don't want to put like out a, a bad, a bad rap or whatever. I, I think this is enough. I mean, at this point, you can just. I don't know. Should I beat this? You know what? I, I think people already uh, are. You know leaving I i'm gonna do like the outro and also the last uh, shot here like this is gonna be my last attempt if we die we die if we don't die we don't die i don't know i'm gonna do the outro here so uh as always thanks for all the patreon supporters and all the membership supporters if you also want to help me you know drop a like is the easiest thing you can do and if you also want to help me specifically with this you know um the fact that this is a sponsorship you can you know if you want to buy the game you can go ahead and buy it specifically through my link uh, which is, uh, you know, in the description. Which is not, by the way, something weird or anything. It's literally, you know, Steam. So it's gonna send you over to Steam. The difference is that, you know, the sponsor is gonna know that you're from me. That's literally it. So if you wanna buy the game, as I said, there is a specific ins a link in the description that's from me. And uh, yeah, once again, thanks to Catapult for the sponsorship. And uh, let's hope that... You know, we're gonna get more of these because uh, at the end of the day, this game is pretty enjoyable. The game might not be good for me specifically, but the game itself is enjoyable to me. And uh, I think they did a good job. And uh, yeah, I mean, you know what? I'm gonna let you see this last attempt here before I close the video off. So uh, let's see how this goes. Did I get... I haven't gotten hit yet, man. This, this fight has become a bit crazy, by the way. Are you kidding me? The explosions hit me too? I, I did not know that the explosions can... That, that's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. We're gonna end this here. I'm not gonna try to struggle myself into exhaustion. Uh, I don't wanna, you know, keep you here while I'm trying to play this. You know, as I said, I'm not good at these games anyway. And uh, at the end of the day, if this is a game that you are good at, and you wanna be like, you know what? I'm better than Sift on this one game. I found a game that I'm better at Sift at. This, uh, this one here, I found it. Then uh, you can go ahead and just go and buy it, you know, and try it yourself. Oh, that, 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 those were some big hits. Anyway, I'm, I'm gonna just end this here. So once again, thanks for watching and see you guys around. Oh, by the way, before I leave, I want to point out something very last. I really enjoy the fact that they actually give you one max HP more when they see that you lose a bunch of times. It's like, yo, I'm gonna, we're, we're helping you beat the game. Come on, go. Like, I love that. I love it when they are doing accessibility options and things. Th those things are always smart. Anyway, that's going to be it for today. So once again, thanks for watching. See you guys around.